All right, all right. What's going on, guys? It's the SS Ultimate Goku back another video. And so, people have been asking me what I thought about the big reveal about the uh, the new name for the Washington Redskins because they'll always be the Washington Redskins. Um, what were my uh, opinions on the Washington Commanders, which is now their new name. Well, <laughs> I freaking hate it. It's the dumbest name I've ever heard um, for, for a team name. Um, like everyone else has been saying, it's, it's a stupid ass name, but it doesn't surprise me. That they, came, that they didn't listen to the fans. And they didn't listen to the fans. They did not listen to the fans. Jason Wright, Dan Schneider, they're all freaking liars. They lied. They didn't listen to anybody. And there's evidence. There's evidence of this. Okay? If they really gave a shit about what the fan base wanted, they would have paid the money for the trademark issues as they claimed with the uh red wolves which is what they cited to why they decided not to go with red wolves so there's that reason right there okay commanders i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys this right now commanders was always their plan it was always their plan for them to be the team name. All this, oh, we're taking considerations. We're, you know, we're looking at these submissions you guys got. That was all a lie. It was all a lie. And you want to know why it was a lie? You want to know why it was a lie? Because they stole this team name. This team name ain't even theirs. This team name they took from a minor football league. That went down a year and a half ago. It shut down. Um, I forget what it was the AALF or AALL or AAL League or whatever. Um, they took this team name from the San Antonio Commanders. San Antonio Commanders. Now I'm gonna bring this up for you guys uh, as I get it right here. For you guys this was what the san antonio commanders was and we're gonna show it right now if they let me to uh san antonio commanders okay which by the way on their twitter like if you go on their twitter right now because their twitter's still there if you go on their twitter right now the San Antonio Commanders in the description says taking command. So not only did they take their team name, they took their hashtag. On you know, you know how Washington is now doing on their Twitter, they're doing taking command. They literally stole that from San Antonio. The only thing they didn't take from them was their logo and their team colors, because obviously they had to keep the Washington Redskins uh, team colors. Uh, because that's what the fans wanted. So they kept their team colors, but, uh, and in my opinion, they had a way better logo. Like, they, you know, since they took their hashtag and they took their team name, they might as well have taken their logo too, but uh, I guess that was too hard for them because the freaking logo that San Antonio had was a far better logo than the logo of uh, Washington. Here we go. All right, here it is. I'm gonna enlarge in it for you guys. So this is the team logo. This this is the team. This is the uh, the team that uh, the uh, Washington Commanders stole the uh, that this was this was the team right here. Obviously, they have somewhat of a uh, maroon instead of a burgundy. Uh, so they just kind of went with their burgundy, and they had red. Because obviously they're Texas, so they had red instead. Um, so 
they took their hashtag of taking command which uh was their twitter feed okay so they took that now i'm gonna tell you guys this right now i believe i truly believe that if the xfl was not around still and it's coming back next year defenders would have been their team name because defenders was actually one of the f eight finalists that they listed besides commanders defenders was one of the finalists but because the xfl is coming back the xfl one of the teams are the dc defenders so that's one of the team names and they aren't getting rid of it so because of the xfl still being around and is going to be coming back under new ownership they cannot use defenders because they literally said that they're going with the bare minimum of stuff that they do not have to waste money on for trademark which is going to get me into another issue here okay besides the uh this these logo the, 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 okay so we're gonna get to the jerseys because the jerseys are shitty the jerseys are shit okay and i'm gonna get to those in a second here but i want to get to where is it this so the leak th th this is their this is their logo okay this is not their main logo their main logo is a w the main logo is the w uh which you've seen on the helmets um which is also stupid we'll get to that in a second okay but we're gonna get to this stupid ass thing okay so this was leaked they leaked this a while ago um they did drop the people's team moniker which was uh on one of the leaked of the logo but pretty much everything else about the logo is pretty much the same as what it was leaked as um but first of all it's too much too much is going on with this logo there's too much too much going on with the logo um and it just doesn't look good it looks like a badge like i was telling people like this looks like a badge this does not look like a logo there's too much they have too much in it too much a logo should not be should not have this much in it especially for a football team okay so i'm gonna get to another problem so look at the bottom here and people have pointed this out and people hate this okay you guys see all these years right here okay so these years are supposed to represent when the team won the championships so in 1937 and in 1942 that was when they won the nfl championships which was the super bowl back then because there was no super bowl back then okay so those were in the actual calendar years so the 80 and the 90s years right here uh these are supposed to represent the years they won the super bowl okay here's the problem with this and people have pointed this out these weren't the years they actually won the Super Bowl. See, see, here's the thing. The years they played in the Super Bowl were those years. Okay, so when they actually won the Super Bowl, they physically played in 1983. However, the entire, the majority of the season was the 1982 season. Okay, uh, for example, when you uh, when you moniker the 85 Bears as a team name, that represents the team as a whole for that full season. So the Bears physically won the Super Bowl in 1986. They won against the Patriots in 1986. However, the 85 Bears, for example, the majority of the season was played in 1985 that's why they're nicknamed the 85 bears or the 84 49ers the 84 49ers were you know they're the 84 49ers because the majority of the teams the majority of the the season was in 1984 only like the super bowl and the the playoff games were in the next year okay but when you go through history they always call them the team name of which they played the majority of the season for so washington actually should be it should say the 1982 team uh 88 should be 87 and the 92 team should be the 91 team and people have complained about this and so washington wanted to change the logo where they updated the years 
uh, with Roman numerals. However, the NFL will not allow that because the NFL has those trademarks. So then they wanted to just change the years, but they actually have to reissue a trademark for the logo with the updated years, with uh, 82, 87, and 91. Um, and because of this, they're not going to pay for it because they have to pay, they have to shell out extra money now for the trademark, which to my whole thing, you're a multi-billion dollar company. You supposedly took two years to figure your shit out and yet you still got it wrong. How do you get this? How do you get your own history wrong? How do you get this crap wrong? And I don't want to hear this excuse that, oh, they didn't know. Bullshit they didn't know. Everyone knew this. And you have to be, you, you have to be a dumbass. I'm sorry. You have to be a dumbass to not know this. Because you are an owner of a football team. This is your history. You have to complete, you have to be a complete dumbass. You have to be a complete dumbass to not know this. The fact that the fans had to point this out is is stupid. So right there, the logo is shit and it's stupid. It's inaccurate completely. Um, and they still have the Washington football on the top, which just pisses me off even more. Um, um, so this logo is ass- it's terrible. It is the worst logo I've ever seen. Um, and there has been some atrocious logos. Like, I, I'm not a fan of the Rams' new logo. Their logo is way too cartoony for uh, a, a logo. And the old logo was far better that they had. But, you know, I mean, what is going on with logos these days? It's just, logos are just so terrible these days when they, when they do these logos. But this logo is by far the worst. That I've ever seen because there's too much they have too much going on for a football team you got the W you got the three stars um, just too much just too much um, so that's my thing with the logo here so let's talk about the the, jer the jerseys because the jerseys are ass they're all ass they're all of them um, but all of them are ass in their own ways. Okay. So the burgundy, the burgundy. The, so the burgundy one that you see in the middle. Okay. That's supposed to be their home jerseys. Okay. So they have commanders, which is their team name or whatever, as, as their, um, uh, As their um their new logo or their new thing on their jersey which you know this is common now with uh teams they they have their team name or their city or state name uh on the you know under the numbers now i'm not a fan of that i'm really not a fan of that at all because it's like you know jerseys used to never have that and you know the packers still stick with that you know of not having the team name on the front of the jersey uh just not it just doesn't look it just doesn't look right i i just i i just am a firm believer you know you you keep the numbers you keep the numbers on the jerseys and you know you, you put your logo on the helmet you know simple um but um if you're going to do it do it with only one or the other. So when you look at the road jerseys, which are the white jerseys, okay, um, why does that one have Washington on it and the Burgundy home jerseys have the team name on it? It's one or the other. You either do Washington or you do Commanders on the side. Not this, you know, mixing and matching bullshit. Um, but... Let's talk about the worst jersey in the history of the NFL. And that is their alternate jerseys. So to the right of this picture, you see the worst jersey in the history of the NFL. Yes, 
It is the worst jersey in the history of the NFL. And that is the black jersey, which has the W in the middle of the helmet. And then you got the team numbers on the side like they did with the with the uh, the Washington team jerseys. Okay? Which you can't see that on here. But if you look it up, you'll see that. That instead of having the Washington W um, on the side of the jerseys like the Burgundy helmets do... They have it in the middle, which just looks ass. It looks ass. It's terrible. There's nobody who does that in the NFL. No one has ever done that before, and it looks stupid. They got rid of the middle stripe, um, you know, that you have in the uh, the regular jerseys. It just looks terrible. It looks god-awful. Um, and then they also have commanders, like, on the side, of the left of the jersey which just looks even more ass by the way because again no one does this like it looks it, like the alternate jerseys it feels like they were trying to make it look like some type of army thing i guess because you know commander is supposed to be an army military theme or whatever now so that's what they think it looks like or what they're trying to go for but it looks like ass um you have burgundy like on the numbers with the gold but it just looks all wrong. And it basically looks like a ripoff of the Pittsburgh Steelers jersey. Or a watered down version of the Pittsburgh Steelers jerseys. Uh, home jerseys. Uh, which makes it look ass. Like these jerseys, the alternate jerseys gotta go. They have to be retired immediately before they even debut. Because they look like ass. Um, and uh, it just looks terrible. Looks like terrible. It, it terrible jerseys. Um, there's so many problems with the Washington Redskins franchise right now. And yes, I am going to refer to them as the Washington Redskins right now because that's what they should be called. Um, this team is complete shit. It is complete shit. The whole thing is cheap production. Dan Schneider doesn't give a damn. And look, there's I could make probably like three or four videos about this entire situation, but I really don't want to because the whole team is an embarrassment. The franchise is an embarrassment. This the franchise is supposed to be worth about four billion dollars because that's how much Denver Broncos are being sold for. So to own a franchise, the net worth is about four billion dollars because I'm basing this off the Denver Broncos being sold. Because the, the reports are that they're being sold for $4 billion. That's the asking price. So this is a $4 billion network franchise. Daniel Snyder actually just paid for a new house. Which is worth $48, billion, or $48 million. Which tells you that, yeah, Daniel Snyder has enough money. Okay, in the bank. And yet... He pays for cheap, cheap bullshit for his team. He has no regards for actually having the best interest in his football team. In my opinion, he does not deserve to have this team. And not to mention, we're not, we haven't even gotten in to the allegations against Daniel Snyder right now that are, that are currently being uh, given to Congress or whatever. I believe Daniel Snyder needs to be kicked off this team he does the he deserves to lose his franchise he 100 percent deserves to lose his franchise he has ruined this team he has ruined the image of this team he has screwed it up completely i didn't like how he was bullied into forcing to change the team name okay because that was what happened the only reason why they changed the name was not it had nothing to do with Native Americans. Let's get that bullshit myth off the way. This had nothing to do with Native Americans. The only reason why the team name ever changed was because sponsorships decided to pull away. All right, and I think there, I think the companies are hypocritical as well. FedEx, okay, literally only pull wanted. If FedEx gave a damn what Native Americans thought uh, thought of the team name. Guess what? They would have never signed on 
for the stadium deal back in 1999 in the first place because they have the stadium deal rights they have the naming rights okay if they gave a damn of what native americans thought then they would have not signed on for them to begin with but they did because they wanted money okay but now they put their foot down okay screw uh fedex for that okay fedex are in the wrong all these companies are in the wrong all these companies that boycotted now all of a sudden because it's like now they feel it's the right time to do so no that's not how it works okay you signed on you freaking agreed you take the blunt of it okay so i do agree with daniel snyder in that front that he shouldn't have been bullied by the nfl he shouldn't have been bullied by these other companies to change his team name based off of pressure of people pulling away when they signed a contract okay you knew full well that the team name's name was going to be the washington redskins and yet you still were like eh no we don't want that anymore but the fact of the matter is the only reason why daniel snyder decided to even change the name from the washington football team to the washington commanders was because as i already noted before was that the trademark was denied last year so prior to the uh this year's nfl season um uh back in july the trademark company denied the trademark of washington football team they denied it so daniel snyder couldn't get a safety net to keeping the team that name because you know people could make counterfeit merchandise and he you know he couldn't sue uh daniel snyder couldn't sue them okay so i knew washington football team was not going to be the permanent team name the moment that was denied by the trademark office in uh in july of 2021 before the start of the season but the reason why they were football team last year uh, rather than their team name being changed like they said they were going to change it um, after the first year was because they needed a team name that they could guarantee that they could get the trademark rights to. They could not get to DC Defenders uh, because of the XFL, as I pointed out. So that's why they went to Commanders because the San Antonio Commanders had folded because of the league folding which means they had no safety net to the team name anymore. And then they stole their hashtag taking commands. Um, they literally took everything but the logo. And also, it took you two years to basically make a W. Two years to make a W. And before people, because that's their main logo, is the W, which they had for football team. But now they basically just kind of altered it a little bit. But it's still a W. Anybody can make a damn letter for a, a logo and before because i've heard people talk well the green bay packers your green bay packers have a g for a logo first of all that g actually looks a hundred times better than this cheesy ass w that literally probably took some freaking eighth grader to make like literally a freaking eighth grader could have made a w logo probably even less than that Okay, anybody can make a W with basic freaking knowledge of editing programs, Photoshop, or not even photos. You can probably do that in paint, for God's sakes. Okay, W looks like shit. Okay, the G actually is construed a certain way, and it's made in a unique way, okay, for the Packers to use, okay? Not to mention the background uh, was originally a football. Then, of course, they changed it to an oval. Um, you know, there's actually me a meaning behind the G, which stands for greatness, by the way, not actually Green Bay. A lot of people think it just stands for Green Bay. It actually stands for greatness, which, of course, it was such a good logo that Georgia Tech actually asked if they could use it in their college that's why georgia tech has the g by the way they didn't come up with that logo green bay came up with that logo they actually asked vince lombardi if they could use that logo like four years after they made the logo in 1961 
Okay. So that's why they have a joint trademark for that. Uh, because the Packers gave the blessing to Georgia Tech. Um, just getting a little off topic there. But that's a tip for all the idiots out there that think Georgia Tech came up with the G. No, they didn't. They took it from Green Bay. Green Bay came up with the G. Um, um, but anyways, um, the, uh, the W looks ass. It's a basic ass logo. Letter, letters can work. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying letter logos can't work. You know, Chicago uses a C on the helmet, but it's unique. It's a unique logo. It's a unique way of how they do it. The W looks like shit. It doesn't even look good. It doesn't look unique. It just looks like a W. It doesn't look like its own. Like, they could have probably taken reference from WWE, who actually made an actually good W logo. Okay? You know, you gotta make it unique. You gotta make it look, you know, your own. It just looks like some basic generic W. Okay? And it looks ass. Okay? Um... So again, you know, um, everything is terrible. Not to mention, we haven't even got into their stadium issues. Like, you know, all those Eagle fans that went to the stadium and the freaking stands collapsed. You know, there's a video on that. I could probably link it to you guys. But there's a video on that where the Eagles uh, were at the stadium for Washington and the whole freaking the, the sideline... Uh, or the fence, the fence for the stands for where the, the where the fans were collapsed and all the Eagle fans fell out and could have seriously injured themselves. The quarterback just happened to be there at the same time and took pictures with them, but uh, for the Eagles, uh, Justin Hurts, but still, I mean, it's terrible. And then during the season, there was also a leakage as well. There's viral videos on that. I can find the link for that and show you guys. The stadium is in bad shape. Washington's FedEx Stadium is in bad shape. Like, if someone needs a new stadium, it's that stadium. That stadium needs serious repairs or something. And they're obviously looking for a new stadium. And I believe if Daniel Snyder does survive all this and, you know, they don't kick him out or force him to sell the team... Uh, you know, where or, or, or at least doesn't go to his kids or something like that. Um, I believe, I believe what's going to happen is that team isn't going to be Washington anymore. That logo is going to be gone. You want to know why it's going to be gone? Because they're going to move to Virginia. Virginia has already, the governor has already said that he is putting in lots of funds to get that team, the Washington team, to move to Virginia because he's going to make a, a stadium proposal to Daniel Snyder. And Daniel Snyder is getting the uh, is getting the rundown from D.C. Like, Congress is getting involved. They still want him to hand over all those emails that were leaked that ultimately got John Gruden fired, okay? You know, they leaked the emails about John Gruden, but no one else. They're still about... 500,000 emails that have not been leaked. Only the John Gruden ones got leaked. Okay. Uh, that ultimately got him fired. And he's not even involved with the Washington franchise. He was involved with the Raiders franchise. Okay. So that stuff happened. Okay. Um, Daniel Snyder... Okay, if he survives this, which, again, it's very possible that he could survive this. Like, you know, the way, at the end of the day, it's the money that all that matters. Um, and if, you know, he can survive this, I believe that team is moving to Virginia. And they're going to have a rebranding because if they go to Virginia, I guarantee you they're going to be forced to change the name from Washington to Virginia, to the Virginia Commanders. Because I guarantee you they're already setting this up. Because the, 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 the politicians locally in D.C. are already saying that we want to keep the team. But they're like, you know, not saying anything about, uh, you know, Daniel Snyder. Okay. They just are like, oh, we want to keep the team. But we don't want the owner. So, guarantee you they're already making him public entity number one. And again, Daniel Snyder, like I said, he just paid for a $48 million, uh, uh, $48 million mansion. Uh, which is right in the realms of Virginia. 
Um, you know, right now they're currently in Maryland at the, the border of where DC is because they're not actually in the heart of DC uh, because that's where the old stadium was uh, that they had to move out of. The current stadium is terrible. And, and considering the fact that the stadium was opened up in 1999, that makes it even more embarrassing because they, they created the stadium in like the stadium, like I believe it opened up in like around, or actually, no, I think it may have been, I think it may have been 97. Actually, it was 97. Uh, 99 is when Daniel Snyder became the owner. 97 is when this new stadium that they're currently at opened up 97 to right now. That's like what? 20 years, like 25 years. That isn't that old. Okay. That's not an old stadium. Okay. I was like eight when that stadium opened up. Okay. In contents and I'm 30 right now. Okay. That's not that old of a stadium. I mean, there are stadiums that are in better shape that are like 40 years old. And we're talking about a new stadium like Walt Wilson stadium or, uh, whatever it's currently called right now for the bills, uh, uh, Highmark stadium or whatever that stadium. Okay. That stadium is like about 40 years old. Okay. A little over 40 years old. And they're already thinking about replacing it. And in my opinion, the wall, uh, that stadium has, is in way better shape than the stadium Washington has. And that stadium is younger than that stadium. That stadium is 20 plus years younger than the Bill Stadium. Okay. In content. Okay. So I believe they're going to be the Virginia Commanders in the next two to three years whenever the stadium, whenever they make the deal for the stadium. I believe it's going to get done. The governor of Virginia has already said that he wants to get them to move there. They're already planting the seeds. And the way D.C.'s politicians are right now, they, they want him out. They want him out as owner. Like, they've clearly made it known. Like, they're listening to the people that have put the allegations out, which, again, I'm 100% in support of. I'm not trying to say that, like, you know, they aren't wrong and, and, and whatnot. Their voices should be heard. I, I want to make that very clear, you know, if it's true that Daniel Snyder did do this stuff to those women, that he should 100% be out as owner. Uh, so I just want to make that clear. But Daniel Snyder, from his perspective, because we have to go into that perspective, if he believes that the D.C. people want the team to stay there, but he doesn't, uh, but they don't want him there, He's moving that team. You know damn well he's moving that team. I mean, look what Dan, look, look what Stan Kroenke did. Okay, the Rams, St. Louis wanted the team to stay. Okay, he wanted they they gave him all the funding he wanted, and Kroenke still moved the team. He still moved the team from St. Louis to L.A., even though he was a St. Louis native. He was from St. Louis. Okay, he was born there. Kroenke still. Bought land in L.A. and moved the team behind their backs. Okay. And St. Louis had no animosity towards Kroenke prior to him moving the team. Okay. Daniel Snyder clearly has animosity towards D.C. right now because obviously the politicians don't like him. Most of the NFL fans don't like him anymore because of everything that's happened. So you know damn well... Kroenke, or if Kroenke had animosity to move the team, you know damn well Daniel Snyder is going to do everything in his power to keep his franchise. Art Modell did it. He moved the team. Of course, Cleveland ended up getting their own franchise back or whatever. We're not going to get into the whole Cleveland-Baltimore thing, but you get the point. These owners are going to do what's in the best interest for them. They don't care about the history at that point. Daniel Snyder wants this team to be inherited by his kids, okay? You know, this franchise, despite as how clownly and screwed up it is. He knows damn well he wants to keep this team. And the only way he might be able to keep this team is if he moves it to Virginia. Because Virginia is going to give him the same amount of money that D.C. is going to give him. Uh, or, or more. they probably going to give him more. Um... Because uh, Virginia is not going to care about them being called the commanders and all the stupid, 
dumb logos and, and whatnot they have. They just want the team in Virginia. So I guarantee you they're going to bend the needs more down to Daniel Snyder demands than D.C. is going to. Uh, D.C. and Maryland probably. So I predict in two to three years whenever – you know, stadium talk, because I, I don't think that stadium can last two more years. The way that stadium was last year with the leakage, the flood leakage in the ceiling of the stadium, uh, which there are videos on that, as well as, uh, you know, the, the, the you know one of the, 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 the seats in the stadium collapsing, the fence collapsing to hold the fans together. Um, I believe that that stadium has probably two more years of shelf life. Okay, so I think they're going to try to get a stadium deal done within the next year, if not this year. It might be as early because that's how bad that stadium is right now. There's just no way that that stadium can last. Like, this stadium literally is bad. Like, all these other stadiums that, you know, get replaced, they actually look still in good shape. This stadium physically looks bad, okay? They need, in two to three years, a new stadium. And it takes about three years to make a new stadium. So, I believe Virginia is going to get a stadium made for Washington, for the Washington team. Which will be kind of ironic because then they'll have to lose their Washington, like, part. Like, the Washington part of the name will have to be taken away. Which is kind of hilarious because for two years they were called the Washington football team. So now they'll have to drop the Washington part of the team name, which is the last remnants of the Washington Redskins now, um, of their team history. Um, so everything is all screwed up about it. It's just ridiculous. It's insane. And uh, this video is probably longer than it needs to be. Um, but that's just my whole in-depth and my opinion on everything. Um... Because I really don't want to make another video on this. Overall, Washington Commanders is a stupid name. It's a name that is even worse to Native Americans. Because, you know, isn't the Commanders... Weren't those the people that basically forced the Native Americans to go on the Trail of Tears? Okay. So, if you're a Native American that was a fan of the team... This is even worse because they are literally taking away your team name representation. They're taking your logo away, which was based off of the Blackfeet Nation. Uh, or what the design was from the Blackfeet Nation of, uh, of Chief Two-Gun White Calf. Okay, a legitimate Native American, which was on the logo. And uh, you basically are basically screwing that up for commanders, which was the people that conquered Native Americans. Uh, so there's that aspect of it, and I've seen that uh, people have talked about this already. I'm not the first person who's brought this up. Um, but also, the most important thing, which I think is the most funny, is the nickname. So there's the Niners, there's the Pats for my Green Bay Packers. Uh, you know, go Pack Go. Um, right? You know, the nicknames. Uh, for teams. Well, guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what the nickname for the Washington uh, Commanders is? It's the Washington Tommies! That's right. I'm not making that up. Pat McAfee's talked about this. Everyone's talked about this. The nickname is the Washington Commies. Which just... That's what we should call them. We should call them the Washington Commies until they change the name. Because that name is just terrible. If if Daniel Snyder is kicked out uh, as owner, I guarantee you this name is changed. I guarantee you they're going to change the name again. Because the name is terrible. It's it's not going to make money. Like there, There's not many people that are going to buy this like or buy into it. Um, so it's like, yep, no. Like, the new owner, I guarantee you, will change the name. Because the whole thing is an embarrassment. Um, anyways, like, they just stole a team name from the San Antonio Commanders. Uh, and the, as well as their hashtag of taking command. Um, 
it, it, it's it's gonna be yeah like i i think if he if he is an owner in the next two to three years that they're gonna change the name again um but um anyways um but yeah the washington commies guys washington commies i've already seen people making th party shirts of that too oh my god it's just insane the washington commies like it's kind of poetic in a way because of daniel snyder being an incompetent owner uh as well as you know <laughs> them being forced to change their name for dumb reasons because of sponsorships not because of the native americans which most native americans aren't offended by it by the way um i personally know a native american who isn't offended by it at all um so um you know most of the people i talk to are not offended by the name so you know not saying that everyone is you know but i'm just saying the majority of the people that you talk to that are native americans aren't offended by it so you know there's that um but yeah guys this has been going on for 40 minutes i just want to kind of talk about everything about this whole issue and whatnot um and that's about it so two to three years uh, you might be uh changing that w logo to a v i guess um if uh they go to virginia um but that's about it i'm out comment rate if you like this video my videos please subscribe that's about it and i'm out of here at the end of this i guess hail to the commies because of daniel snyder's incompetence as an owner stupid stupid guys i'm out of here i'm the ss ultimate goku i'm out of here peace